Assalamu alaikum everyone and uh, welcome to uh, a live session uh, on AB without P art and um, I would like to thank everybody who has liked my page and followed me uh, and also my customers that are a great source of motivation for me Alhamdulillah thank you everybody out there And uh, Asalaamu Alaikum everyone and welcome to live session on my page A Without P Art. Uh, hope you all are doing great. And uh, I would like to thank everybody who has liked my page and has been following me. And uh, also my customers out there uh, who are a great source of motivation for me <clears throat> okay um, it's it's been a while since I haven't posted a live video here so I was thinking you know uh, maybe to connect with you more and to know you people more so this is why I uh, have started this live video and uh, in this video, we'll talk about a few things, and inshallah, I'll also do some live uh, calligraphy in uh, copper plate script of English calligraphy. Okay, so um, first of all, to start off, um, AB Daud P. Ard. That's the correct uh, pronunciation of, of my page, and... Uh, And on Lula, I, I provide calligraphy in Arabic, English, modern, and traditional both, and also logo designing, which is uh, calligraphy logos basically. And um, it's been more than uh, it's been almost two years since I'm doing this. Alhamdulillah. And okay, let's start with this. I have something written over here and this is something uh, it's just a rough calligraphy practice I did uh, you know, in my leisure time so let's go through this these are the basics they, these are the basic uh, <clears throat> excuse me basic uh, services that I provide says AB without PR calligraphy and logos. This is what I wrote with this. Uh, I believe uh, this is the pen holder that I usually use. It's by Lewis Creations as you can see here. Lewis Creations and it's an oblique two-in-one holder. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's an amazing thing. Basically it's an oblique and a straight holder at the same time. You can pull out this flange over here and uh, insert the nib directly here and then write if you prefer writing with um, straight holders otherwise I personally myself use an oblique style of nib holders for a copper plate script and this is uh, again this has a, a compartment for storing nibs as well. You can store nibs inside this, while traveling or even at your studio. So, uh, and and the nib over here is the Gelat 303. It's the most classical nibs uh, in the market. And recently, I've done a lot with this, and it's my favorite nib. At the moment, and uh, okay, let's proceed. So I've written some services over here. Uh, AB without PR calligraphy and logos, personalized calligraphy on paper, canvas. I hope you can see it. Uh, wallets, shirts, caps, envelopes, bags, walls, perfume bottles, and all you can think of. 
so I would just hold straight on the screen so you can have a closer look. This is uh, just a rough calligraphy and introducing just uh, some of my uh, services. Okay, coming to the uh, frequently asked questions. Uh, because I do a lot of alhamdulillah professional work and uh, it's alhamdulillah it's, it's very uh, different from the work that is going on in the city or in the country alhamdulillah and uh, alhamdulillah I have learned a lot in a few years time it's been uh, two years hardly as I said before so uh, people ask me a lot of questions like where to get these nibs where to get this holder, what paper to use, right, and how to learn the script. So to start off, I would recommend um, this nib over here, this, uh, this nib over here, it's from Japan, and it's called Zebra G nib. It's a, it's a super undestructible nib and is it's best for beginners as well you can see here i hope you can see well it's chromed and it's uh it's one of the best nibs for beginners as well but unfortunately you cannot find it here in pakistan um maybe in lahore somewhere <clears throat> but not in Karachi um, But you can contact me later for for the nibs if I have available for sale Okay, this is one of the best nibs uh, Apart from this you can get uh, William Mitchell uh, Calligraphy nib set from any art store, but it's very uh, It's hard to find okay uh, but uh, you can find it probably on uh, Najar Brothers and Artlink and a few more stores. You'll have to check it out. And it comes, uh, like, I think, a, a set of 12 nibs or something. That is uh, the basic uh, William Mitchell nib set for, for beginners. You can get easily. Otherwise, if you can get Zebra G or Nico G. These are one of the best calligraphy nibs for beginners. And uh, uh, the second thing uh, the people ask me about the oblique nib holders. Um, well, well, I'm, I missed out something. Well, there are a lot of other nibs available uh, in the pointed nib calligraphy. Uh, well, uh, some of them, you know, they're from, I don't know, from England, from USA, from uh, some, some nibs are from uh, Czechoslovakia, and some, some countries like that. But they're hard to find, especially in Russia. Thank you, Has Ali Hassan. Uh, thanks for watching and thanks for the comment. And... Uh, well, whatever nib you find out, you, you get in the market, you can you can start with it. And uh, one thing that's very important is to prepare the nib. For that, I'll make a tutorial for, uh, inshallah, uh, on, on my YouTube channel. So if you're watching, just uh, simply just go to my YouTube channel. The link is given in the description of this video. And subscribe to it, my channel. And inshallah, the next video I'll be uploading is uh, is some secrets of calligraphy, inshallah. And uh, in that video, I'll cover one big secret or one big one big step before you start calligraphy. And it is a very important step because uh, a lot of people they don't know how to use the nib and they get frustrated and then you know it's hard for them to. Uh, write because without that thing without that step you cannot write properly 
so inshallah just, just subscribe subscribe to my channel and inshallah i'll be posting new videos frequently inshallah and uh inshallah you can learn a lot from there okay these this is i think uh, these this this introduction is enough for pointed pen nibs these are pointed pen and these are flex nibs by the way for those of you who don't know see if you press it down the tines of these nibs they spread apart and that's that's the basic you know uh, the basic of copper plate grip or English calligraphy is the down strokes are supposed to be uh, thick. let's let let me give you a basic introduction by the way this is the orange sumi ink not the sumi ink sorry it's it's for a Daiso and it's, it's beautiful ink. Okay, so uh, the uh, another question that I get is uh, okay, wait. Okay, what, is, what that means is whenever you're doing English calligraphy, no matter whatever script, for example, if you did copper plate script, the, the uh, down strokes, if you're going down, <clears throat> that is always uh, thick, okay? For example, like that. And if you're going up, Like that. Um, the thin, thin up strokes means if you're going up like this. Okay. I, I hope you get a good idea. So combination of both. <coughs> this is the thick down. <coughs> Excuse me. Now combination of both uh, would be. Uh, let me write the. Link. Ten up stroke, take that stroke, ten up stroke again, and these basically dip pen. So, if you notice, I'm going away from the camera again and again, and I'm dipping my nib in this ink and this is sumi ink again this is japanese ink and let's wipe this nib one time so it writes better By the way, if you have any questions, uh, you can ask right away. Don't hesitate, okay? Okay, so... <clears throat> oh, and by the way, this is the, the Sumi ink that I usually use for English calligraphy. It's great for English and uh, Arabic calligraphy both. This is, uh, well, this is again not available in Pakistan, but uh, you can get a Sumi ink by Kuretake brand. And... Uh, that is also a, a very good <coughs> calligraphy ink okay so what we did here thin upstroke thick downstroke thin upstroke and then again thick downstroke and then thin upstroke okay so this is basically what we're talking about here 
Okay, uh, the second question I get is uh, where to get this oblique nib holder? This is not available in Pakistan and it's available. This is from Australia basically, but someone from Lahore is making similar oblique uh, nib holders. And uh, for that, you can. I'll tell you some. Uh, some but you know some address or some contact for the person where's my please give me that box the local one is uh, a bit different from this and uh, has a different setting not very ideal but it to an extent it's it's a good oblique holder this one is the local one and i bought it from artlink clifton and uh it's it's made of wood it's wooden and uh, it's it's just uh, a, it's a fine oblique nib holder but i don't use it much because the angle there's there's a difference in angle but um, overall it's an it's an average oblique holder i like it because of the wooden structure okay <clears throat> okay so i was talking about the yeah oblique nib holders you can it, they are very rare, rare in Karachi, and uh, last time I saw one at Nazar Brothers. Yeah, Nazar Brothers, I saw one at Nazar Brothers. Uh, and, uh, <clears throat> yeah. So, uh, apart from obliques, you can find uh, regular straight nib holders, and you can start with that. Uh, that's not a problem for beginners okay and uh, we've covered some basics of nibs holders and let's come to uh, the inks okay so the calligraphy inks are very different from regular fountain pen inks or some other inks so this is one of the nib I use oh, sorry the ink I use this is sumi ink another one is again from Jap Japan this is not a sumi ink but it's a calligraphy ink and uh, by the way for pointed pen uh, pointed pens you can use uh, pelican ink as well pelican fountain pen ink and another ink you can use is the equaline watercolor ink Basically, it's a watercolor ink, but it's really good for found uh, for, for flex snips as well. Okay, you can use these as well. Um, you can use gouache as well. Gouache is uh, something very advanced, so I would not recommend it for beginners. Uh, and uh, some other brands of calligraphy inks you can find here. In Karachi are Windsor and Newton and uh, yeah Windsor and Newton and Kelly Kelly Inc. Kelly by Dela Rowney just don't get confused with uh, Kelly and then there's some local link Kelly and there's written graphy a small graphy over there that's that's local sorry local ink and uh, that's uh, that's local ink. So don't don't get that one. That is uh, that is not good for English graphy. Sorry, the chair sound. Yeah, this is uh, sorry. Windsor and Newton calligraphy ink. This one is. Uh, white calligraphy ink it comes in a lot of colors this is great for professional calligraphy under that I have almost uh, three to four colors and uh, yes this one is the original Kelly ink this is uh, as you can see by dealer around it's it's a very good 
art brand and it's made in England okay if you if you, if you find something like Kelly written and there is a small graphy written over here don't get confused that one is a local link don't get that one for English calligraphy okay <coughs> it does not work okay now <coughs> Another ink over here is this, again, Japanese ink. It's a very beautiful orange color ink. And, uh, yes, uh, Miss Saba Musharraf uh, is asking, what about Ecoline inks? Yes, Ecoline inks, as I've said before mentioned before they are they are basically watercolor inks okay these are watercolor inks basically these are watercolors liquid watercolors and these can also be used with pointed nibs and flat nibs for calligraphy okay these can be used although these are transparent these are not transparent but they, they have transparency these are not opaque so, but they work perfectly with pointed nibs as well. Another one is this uh, Etdal ink. I would not recommend this for English calligraphy because uh, this clogs on the nib. Yeah, uh, uh, this uh, nib, this ink, it's it works with English calligraphy, but. Um, you have to wipe your nib again and again for to for in order to get thin hairlines, and it comes in all off colors. But uh, I would not recommend for <clears throat> English calligraphy. This is one of my favorite. This is this comes in a pal form, and I've put split in a small bottle jar. But uh, this this is uh, fine tech from Germany, one of my favorite nibs, and it's uh, bronze, bronze color basically. It comes on a lot of colors, and this is also watercolor ink, watercolor ink. Uh, another uh, very <coughs> sorry another very uh, popular and quality brand is the Dr. P.H. Martins uh, this is um, an, a, a very beautiful ink but unfortunately it's not available in Pakistan what available in Pakistan is uh, the Ecoline over here Pelican ink, okay, and Parker ink that can be used. The the Sumi ink by Kuratake, okay, and this Calligraph Kelly ink is available only perhaps on Paris Art Fever. Windsor and Newton is easily available on any art shop. This is a good calligraphy ink, and uh, a few more brands which. Um, uh, I, I cannot, uh, I don't have, I cannot recall. And, uh, I think that's it. Gouache, I won't. Uh, I won't recommend for beginners. Gouache, sorry. Let me show you the gouache. Gouache, well, it again comes with in, in uh, different brands. This is one from uh, Talons. It's not available in Karachi or Pakistan. <laughs> I'm afraid. And this one I, I got from the way. 
but you can get Winsor Newton, Winsor Newton gouache, but I would not recommend it for beginners. Okay, so I think that much is uh, enough for an introduction, uh, a small brief introduction. Now proceeding to uh, you know, some some live calligraphy, which I'll, I'll demonstrate. By the way, if you have any questions, just ask simply. Okay. Really? Is it black and white? Oh, I'm sorry. Actually, I don't have uh, uh, experience with. <laughs> really sorry. So, I think I should show you the inks again.